Jain class. So today we are going to continue with the chapter nouns and we are going to see what are countable nouns. So countable nouns as the name suggests, these are those, noun, those nouns which can be counted. And depending upon the count, whether it is just one or more than one, which we call singular or plural. Singular means one. Plural means more than one. So depending upon singular and plural, plural forms of the uh, noun, we can uh, change a singular noun into a, a plural noun. So for example, uh, uh, there are different ways to find out what the plural form of a noun would be. So uh, most of, for most of the nouns, you can add, you can convert it into a plural form by adding s. So book, for example, becomes books. Table becomes tables, chair becomes chairs, uh, copy, uh, uh, pen becomes pens, right? In some of the uh, uh, nouns where which end with S or double S or SH or CH or Z or X, right? These, the nouns which end with these word, uh, alphabets, then they uh, are transformed into or converted into a plural form by adding ES. For example, bus becomes buses. So as you can see, it ends with S. So what we add, what we do at the end, we add ES and it becomes its plural. Bus becomes buses. Church becomes churches. Mass becomes masses. M A W -S, S mass becomes M A W -S, S E S masses. Blitz becomes blitzes. Dish D I S H dish becomes dishes. Fox becomes foxes. And then we will see what are the nouns which end with O, what happens then? Then in some, for some of the uh, nouns which end with O, for example mango, what we do, we add ES, right? Uh, we, mango becomes mangoes, tomato becomes tomatoes, similarly potato becomes potatoes. But for some other uh, nouns which uh, for end with O, they, in order to convert them into their plural form, we add simply as, add S, not ES, but S. For example, photo becomes photos, zoo becomes zoos. So you have to learn these as you go along, as you study. There is no specific rule as to, because see, this also ends with O, this also ends with O, right? But for mango, when it ends with O, the plural is mangoes, M-A-N-G-O-E-S. Photo, P-H-O-T-O. When it becomes plural, it becomes P H O T O S. Right? So, photo becomes photo, zoo becomes zoo. So, there is no specific uh, uh, way to find out uh, where ES or, or S will be applied uh, when the noun ends with O. You have that you have to learn as you go along, as you study. Then there are nouns which end with F or FE, for example, thief or life. So we add, uh, make these into plural form by adding, by removing F or FE and adding VES. So thief, T-H-I-E-F becomes T-H-I-E-V-E-S. Thief becomes thieves, life becomes lives, L-A-I-F-E. We remove FE and it becomes L-I-F-E, L -I -F -E, life uh, uh, becomes lives. We remove FE and we replace it VES, L I V E S. Then there are nouns which end with a vowel, vowel, uh, vowel and uh, then they end with Y. So, what is vowel? Vowels are A E I O U. These are the five alphabets which are called vowels. And the other 21 alphabets, they are called consonants. So, when a noun ends with Y and before Y, there is a vowel. For example, Day, D, A, Y. A is a vowel, right? See, a vowel is A, E, I, O, U. So, before Y, there is A, which is a vowel. Then, in this, those cases, what we do? We simply add S. So, day, D, A, Y becomes D, A, Y, S. Days. Boy, B, O, Y. Again, it ends with Y. And there is an O before Y. O is a vowel. So, we will simply add S at the end. So, boy becomes boys. And then there are nouns which end with Y, but there is a consonant before the Y. For example, city, C-I-T-Y. So in those cases, or army, A-R-M-Y. In these cases, what happens? We remove Y. Over here, we didn't remove Y. We simply add, uh, added S. 
when the noun ends with uh, uh, y and there is a uh, vowel before the noun but if there is a uh, consonant before the, uh, the uh, sorry when there is a uh, when the when the noun ends with y and there is a vowel before the y then you simply add s right when they when the noun ends with y and there is a consonant before the y right c i t y so t as you can see this is a consonant this is not a vowel so this is a consonant in this case we remove y and we add i e s the so city becomes cities c i t y becomes c i t i e s army becomes armies a r m y becomes a r m i e s and then there are some exceptions for example child becomes children man becomes men tooth becomes teeth mouse becomes mice ox becomes oxen person becomes people so there are no specific uh, uh, rules for these kind of words as i said you have to learn them as you go along apart from these seven there are some other uh, uh, nouns uh, special nouns and we how we change uh, um, uh, it to plural form for example there are some nouns which do not change at all when they uh, when used in plural form example uh, that is in they uh, they are for singular uh, noun uh, they are used for plural noun that particular word itself is used for example sheep i'll tell you. so sheep right sheep when used in singular form you use sheep there is a sheep and when used in plural form if there are more than one sheep right then again the plural form itself is is sheep similarly deer right deer is another word deer in hindi it is called hiran right so deer becomes again it remains deer then they are nouns with only exists in the plural form they do not have uh, a singular form example example series right another example is scissors catchy right tongs chimta so these always remain in plural form reason being that they in most of the cases they uh, exist in pairs so there is a, pa a pair of uh, pants there is a pair of tongs there are, there are two arms of a tong two uh, uh, cutting sides of a scissors which form the scissors right so scissors and tongs these are always are used in the plural form they do they are not used in singular form at all right next there are compound form nouns compound nouns are what for example father in law so these are compound nouns right so what happens they uh, when you have to change it to a, a plural form the father in law is, uh, the plural of father in law will be fathers in law right attorney general every country has a head uh, attorney head advocate attorney general so attorney general becomes attorneys general so this is for compound uh, nouns uh, we add uh, uh, we convert the, the this is the main noun this is the supporting noun for the compound noun so we have uh, we change the we change the uh, uh, main noun into its plural plural form and the other we remain we, we keep as it is so this this is how it it changes into its plural form then uh, there are uh, words which are borrowed for uh, from latin for example fungus fungus right fungus when it's, it's uh, converted into its plural form it becomes fungi what not fungi it fun, uh, singular is uh, pronounced as fungus right and its plural is uh, pronounced as fungi right similarly syllabus syllabus the syllabus of your subjects syllabus that plural form is syllabi right another uh, 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 there are other words which are borrowed uh, from latin uh, for example vortex that becomes 
vertex that becomes vertices so these you have to learn right these you have to learn uh, and uh, remember it there is no for these see for up till now I have to, uh, for, for compound uh, uh, nouns I have told you that there is a simple rule the main noun that is transformed into its plural form and the other is kept as, uh, same as it is and this becomes the plural of the whole compound noun but they, they are for some nouns for example child becomes children tooth, tooth becomes teeth there are no specific rules for it so these you have to learn and you will learn it's not that difficult I learned it everybody every adult in the uh, world learned it right your parents learned it everybody learned it the same way we kept on studying we kept on remembering we kept on solving the exercises doing the uh, uh, our homeworks studying properly and we learned it accordingly okay so uh, this is your uh, countable nouns now the next thing is uncountable nouns so uncountable nouns as the name suggests these are no those nouns which cannot be counted which cannot be counted see countable nouns they uh, they uh, they have they have two forms singular or plural if there's just uh, one uh, uh, one person one place one thing one animal right then that's that that is what countable noun a singular count singular noun form of the noun if they are more than one then that becomes plural form of the noun but for then uh, but these are those are the countable nouns what are uncountable nouns so uncountable nouns are nouns which we cannot count and what are the examples of this like milk can you count milk you can measure how much the amount of milk you have but can you count milk no so milk is a uncountable noun then advice can you count someone uh, someone's advice right no right water juice bo uh, 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 butter flour flower as in flower as uh, not flower and see uh, f l o u r flower that's atta right or maida that is also called flower right so flower uh, 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 some people pronounce it as flower some people, uh, but the correct pronunciation is flower glue so these you cannot count these now so these are simply what your uncountable nouns right so this com uh, completes your countable and uncountable nouns now in your chapter uh, gender and case remains in the noun chapter this will complete in the next class i'll be sending you exercises based on the topic that we've covered countable nouns and uncountable nouns thank you class